Welcome, one and all, to the ninth episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. This episode marks a special moment in the project's history, as this is the time when we leave the letter A behind and start looking at titles beginning with B instead. The first such title is the Danish developed Banshee, a great shoot 'em up by Core, released in 1994. The story of Banshee is simple, and perhaps a bit on the odd side. The evil Styx Empire has invaded Earth, but not Earth as we know it. It's more of a steampunk Earth without color TVs and such, and definitely without microwave ovens. For some reason, microwave ovens play a big role in this story. Our protagonist, Sven Svartensvart, builds a plane, the Banshee, and sets out to single-handedly defeat the Styx invaders in order to save the Earth, and to get revenge on the Styx, who apparently killed his father because he refused to invent the before-mentioned microwave ovens. Very weird indeed. But who cares? This is a shoot 'em up so who cares about the story? What the developers and designers of Banshee lacked in the storytelling department, they definitely made up for in coding and graphics. This game is the smoothest thing I've ever played on my CD32. The graphics are exquisite, the controls perfect, the attention to detail impressive, and the sheer number of moving objects on screen at the same time is simply amazing. And this is seemingly all done without losing a single frame. Impressive. This is just the kind of experience you want when playing a shoot 'em up. You control the aforementioned Banshee, and in true shoot 'em up fashion, it's your job to blast everything in front of you into smithereens. Initially, in the first few minutes, you are reminded of the arcade classic 1942, especially because your secondary attack is doing a loop, but the game soon shows that it's much more than just a clone. There's a nice power-up system in play where you pick up power-ups for your shots, speed power-ups, shield repairs, and extra lives and so on and so forth. All in all, there are 15 different power-ups, all usable in different parts of the game. For example, in the last part of the second stage, the power-up that adds the sideways shot becomes really helpful. But as with all good shoot 'em ups experimenting with the power-up systems is part of the fun, so I won't spoil it further. Did I mention that this is a Danish game? As a fellow Dane, I can't help but feeling a bit of pride when playing this gem of a game. The game was coded by Søren Hannibal, and the graphics done by Jakob Andersen. Let's talk about the graphics. The attention to graphical detail is absolutely breathtaking. You have little men running around screaming as you blast them, cranes that you can shoot to make them fall on top of soldiers, polar bears running around in the Arctic level, mothers with baby carriages scuttling for cover in the city areas. You see soldiers running around inside the buildings before they come out to shoot at you, and I could go on. The most amazing thing is that many of these wonderful graphical touches are only used a handful of times, so there always seems to be something new to look at and to be amazed by. The only thing that this game is missing is a proper soundtrack. That would have made it perfect. Don't get me wrong, the sound design in this game is A-OK, -okay, but a little music in the stages would have been great. As with any good shoot 'em up Banshee has its share of epic boss fights. I'll shut up for a moment and let you have a look at a few. Let's see if the reviewers back in the day loved Banshee just as much as I do. One thing that does bode well in that regard is that the game was ranked as number 39 in the best game of all time list made by Amiga Power in 1996. Amiga Format awarded the game a 90% score, stating that this is a classic shoot 'em up. Sure, we've seen this sort of thing many times before, and inevitably the gameplay can seem a little bit repetitive, but rarely do they look or play as well as this. Banshee breaks no boundaries, it blows them out of the sky. Amiga Power, who awarded the game an 89% score, wrote The detail of the thing. Well, where do you start? If you shoot up a foam box, blood drains out of it. If you nail a parachutist, his chute crumbles and he splats to the ground. The tarpaulin at the back of trucks is lifted to reveal troops, and then the interior is lit by their gun flashes. And they continue to describe lots and lots of little details. Clearly they, like I, love the game for these little details. CU Amiga gave the game a 90% score, writing short and sweet that it sounds great and it plays great. Let's face it, Banshee is blumming great. I give this stunning shooter 5 out of 5. 
This doesn't mean it's the best shooter I've ever played, but it's definitely the best I've played on the Amiga so far. If you like shooters and you haven't already played Banshee, then what are you waiting for? Go pick it up now.